Hi, you're probably watching this video because you need help in your relationship. Probably you're in a mixed faith marriage due to a faith transition. And this faith transition created what I call a marriage transition. Or if you like to use the term faith crisis, now you have a marriage crisis. For me, my faith transition was very hard. It was very challenging. The marriage transition, the marriage crisis was even worse and more challenging. Maybe you're experiencing isolation, withdrawal, loneliness, fear, rejection, abandonment, disconnection. I could go on and on in your marriage now. Now, it could be that these issues predated your faith transition or predated the mixed faith marriage or your partner's faith transition, but they seem to be exacerbated by the mixed faith marriage. Maybe they stem from the mixed faith marriage. Either way, they're here now and need to be addressed. Perhaps you don't know how to move forward, not being on the same page. You don't know how to move forward without rocking the boat. You don't know how to move forward without hurting them anymore. So this means you're walking on eggshells. You're staying silent. You're not showing up. You're not having those conversations and discussions that you want to have with either your spouse and or your children. You probably realize that the current uh, status quo just isn't sustainable but you just don't know how to turn things around and address it. Now, I have been there. I have been there. I know what it's like. My own marriage had the marriage transition after my faith transition, and it was a rocky road. I'm going to tell you about the course I have to help address these problems, to help create skills and tools to help you address these issues so you don't have to stay in the status quo. Look for me in the next video. Let's talk about the solution, the tools and the skills you need to solve this pain and problem you're having in your mixed faith marriage.